Hello everyone, in this video I'm talking about visual inspection and how to detect um, gold versus gold plate and other materials like silver and copper and white metals, like base white metals. So here in this picture is a picture of my hand and I've got a 24 karat gold bar. 24 karat means that the gold bar is 100% pure, or at least as close as you can basically get. And then on my finger is a 14 karat ring. Now, I'm using this picture to illustrate um, the difference between 24 karat and 14 karat because 14 karat's got some silver or other white metals mixed in often, and so it'll have a whiter color. So most jewelry you see will be 14 karat and then most gold plate that you'll see will kind of have this darker color. Now this bar is pure but a lot of gold plating is just a pure layer of gold um, plated onto the top of something else. So here we can go. We're going to switch to our next set of objects to try and put this into practice. So, switch to this. All right. Now you can see I've got several objects here. You can see my ring here, and um, we've got some other gold looking objects. Now you might be wondering which of these is gold and which is not. Now I've already looked and some of them have marks and some of them don't and usually when you're sorting jewelry you want to go by the marks. However, um, sometimes you have to go by color and texture and so that's why I wanted to do this comparison. So basically um, first thing I want to show you is this ring here. It has, so this is, here, let me adjust the camera there, okay. So this is 14 karat. It's got some silver in it, so it looks a little more white. And um, you'll notice on the texture, you can see it's got like scratches and stuff. And when you look in those scratches, it's the same color in, in the deepest part of the scratches as it is on the top. One thing you'll see with a lot of gold plate is that where it's worn off or scratched, you'll see the white metal underneath. So that's that example. Now this here is a gold tooth. Now this is a little darker. It's a little more like that gold bar because they tend to do these uh, a little more gold. They make them with a little more gold, I mean. And, um, but you can still see some, some white some white metal coloring where it's cracked or cut you can see that it's the same color all the way through and that's a good sign next up we've got this necklace now this necklace is gold plated okay and part of how you can tell that it's gold plated is it looks yellow like the gold bar and it's shiny and it doesn't have like obvious scratching okay a lot of gold plating will look shiny like a new gold bar and that's how you can know that it's just got a surface layer on it all right next up we have this little boot now this is the color of copper now this is straight up copper or at least i think it is and um, it's been 
made into the shape of a boot. It's a nice piece, but it's not gold. And so it's similar, copper is similar to the color of gold, but it's it's off a little bit. And you'll see sometimes um, manufacturers make things that are mixed with copper and zinc or tin or some other white metals to approach the colors of gold. And honestly, that's why we do the acid test to screen out these kinds of things. So more on that in the acid test video that I'm going to do in a minute. All right, next up we've got this, this necklace. Again, this is a cop, uh, common um, type of necklace that I see that is gold plated. Um, it looks more yellow than the ring. If I were to compare the two, you can see that the gold plated necklace is a lot darker color or a lot darker yellow than the ring is. And it looks like I've got a little bit weird lighting here, but I think, I think you kind of get the idea. Now this here, if I can get it on the camera, is the color of sterling silver. Sterling silver is 92% silver, and this is a straight earring, so it's going to be refined at some point. It's going to be purified to be made into something else, which is fun. Um, the the color and texture on this is very typical of the color of silver jewelry that has been around for a while it's got a little tiny bit of tarnish you can see it's darker where it's not been worn very much around the edge of that stone so that kind of gives you an idea of what uh what silver looks like now finally we've got this really long necklace let me see if i can get it here now this is a necklace and it, this is a base metal necklace it's like nickel or you know some other metal and um, when I first started out I would have thought maybe this was a silver necklace but it's not marked and the texture is more like steel or nickel or something else and um, so you can compare the two silver has kind of a whiter look to it and other metals have kind of uh, a darker, you know, greens and blues in the coloring. So that kind of gives you an idea, of, you know, the difference of what you're looking for. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell and all the other things if you like this video. See you next time. Hello again. In the description I've put links relating to parts of this video and you'll find links to supporting information and tools and um, some affiliate links that uh, will support the channel if you click them. Also, if you like the video, definitely push all the buttons that help you know when another video comes out so you can check them out. And lastly, if there was a topic or a similar topic that I didn't cover in this video that you're interested in, please make a comment down below so that I can uh, make one for you guys. Hopefully this was helpful for you and have a great day.